Now just a quick note, if you guys can't see my cursor, you should probably enlarge the video because I'm going to be pointing to a lot of stuff. So once you hit level 80, you're going to get a quest at the message board. You can find these all over Stormwind. You click the message board, you get two quests. Now let's open up the map. Now you're going to get quests to go to two places. Bashir, which is an underwater place. I do not rec If you're trying to hit 85 the fastest, I do not recommend this place at all. The swimming can be very annoying for some players. A lot of the quests require you to swim miles just to turn them in, and it's an extremely bad leveling place. But if you do want a different experience and something fresh and new, then you could probably level there and enjoy it. But if you're really going for that 85 in 3 days or 2 days, skip this place. Otherwise, take the other quest and head to Mount Hyjal. So it's going to send you to Mount Hyjal. Now, this place, it's very streamlined. All the quests are the same, so I'm going to tell you exactly what to do. There's really only one path. There's no multiple paths, which kind of sucks, but that can't really change that. So you're going to start from Nordrasil up at top. Now, when you get to about the Circle of Cinders, you're going to do quests and it's going to send you to the Circle of Cinders. You're going to get a quest from a little guy telling you to go to Black Rock Caverns. What is Black Rock Caverns? If you go to your Dungeon Finder, that's a level 80 dun 85 dungeon, I mean level 80 dungeon, Black Rock Caverns. As soon as you get the quest to pick up Black Rock Caverns, do this dungeon. Do your random dungeon queue finder, whatever, because your first run of Black Rock Caverns will give you almost half a level, and Black Rock Caverns only takes about 30 minutes to complete with a good group. So your first run of Black Rock Caverns is the, probably the best leveling thing you can ever do during this 80 to 85 run. So just make sure you guys do that. Otherwise, let's go back to Hyjal. Now, basically, you want to keep doing the quest until you hit level 82. You'll hit level 82 about the time you get to the regrowth. At level 82, you want to stop leveling here. Why? Because you can head over to Deep Home, which gives you more experience per quest than Hyjal. So usually, I stop around the regrowth once I hit 82. You can keep doing the quest. There's a whole bunch of more quests over here. But it's going to give you less experience. Like every quest gives you about 30k max when you can go to Deep Plum and start getting 40k plus almost 2 seconds in at 82. So at 82, stop here and you're going to want to head back to the message board. At the message board, you're going to get a quest for Deep Plum. You're going to just fly over to the portal area. This is where you start using the portals instead of the quest. Over here, you can access any of the new zones that you've been to at least once. So you want to head over into Deep Plum, which is easily right here. Let's go back to the map and actually go into Deep Home. Now in Deep Home, there's a, actually two questing paths. There's one that's going to help you with some stone people on this side of the map. Stone Hearth, Needle Rock Slag, Needle Rock Chasm. You're going to get a quest line for this side. And you're going to get a quest line for Deathwing's Fall, Twilight Overlook. You're going to get like a basically Alliance versus Horde quest line. But all the quest lines here are the same for Horde and Alliance, so there's really no changes. What you want to do is do both quest lines. If you're new to WoW, then you're probably going to want to start with the Horde quest line, which is going to say, head over to the wreckage, the Fury wreckage. That's going to be the first quest for that. So you're going to want to do the, uh, what do you call it, the Alliance Horde quest line first, since it's slightly easier. After you do that one, then you can do the Stone People quest, which is pretty, it's also easy, but it's harder if you don't do it, if you do it right away. Now the quest lines are straightforward, there's no other paths than the two I just said. So you just do all the quests until you run out and then you do the other side. So whatever, whichever side you start with is completely up to you. After you complete all those quests, you're going to get a quest to go back to the middle of the Temple of Earth. And then you're going to get the Therizane quest line. Now if you didn't hit level 83 yet, you can do the Therizane quest line. Which requires you to go to the, all the other parts of Deep Home. But as soon as you hit 83, you probably want to leave this place. Uh, I would suggest doing the Therizane quest line only because the next zone I'm going to show you is pretty horrible at level 83, but it's really up to you. You can either hit 83 here and move out or just finish the whole entire zone. It's pretty simple. The next zone, for a lot of starter people to get lost for this, is Oldham. Where's the portal for that? Right here, Oldham. So for this zone, you got to go to your message board, which is all the way back there. And then you got to head over to Clamador. And you gotta head all the way to this place called Tanaris. Now, right here, where my mouse is pointed, right about here, is where you'll start the quest for Oldham. But make sure you go to the message board first. If you miss the message board quest, then you're gonna be screwed. Because I never tried it without the message board, so I wouldn't even try just going here without it. 
But once you get the quest, you're gonna get the quest right here to go into Oldham. Just accept that, it's a two second cutscene. Then you can head into Oldham. Now in the Oldham, you have once again two quest paths. You're gonna start at Robikin after you do the couple of intro quests over in the Lost City. They're just required quests just to get into the zone. But after you finish those quests, you're gonna head in Robikin or whatever that place is called. And you have two quest lines. You have what I call the Cat People quest line and the Indiana Jones ripoff quest line. Now, if you're really serious about 85, you do not want to do the Indiana Jones quest line. They're extremely long, hard. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. <laughs> anyway, what do you call it? They're hard, long, and the cut. You can't skip the cutscenes. So if you already leveled here before, you can't even skip the cutscenes, and the cutscenes are pretty long too. So you want to skip the Indiana Jones quest line. You will get that after you do a couple of the cat people quests here. Then you're going to get a quest at, what is it, Marat? And it's going to have like a human guy standing there. And then he's going to say, go over to the temple to help Indiana Jones. Skip that. If you're really serious about hitting 85, just skip that completely. Otherwise, you pretty much just do the cat people quest. It's straightforward. There's no other pathing out or branching out. If you complete all the quests and, you're, and you still haven't hit 84, head back to Deep Home and finish up the Darazane quest to hit 84. Or if you still didn't hit 84, then I guess do some dungeons. But otherwise, you should pretty much hit 84 after you do the Cat People quest, and just a couple little bit of quests after that. Now on to 85. At 85, you're going to head back to your city. Now, this is the only time where the quests are different, because you're going to get different quests depending on what faction you are. So, as Alliance, you're going to have your quest in Stormwind. It's about five or six quests here. And on a Horde side, you have about five or six quests too. And after doing all those quests, you're going to get sent to Twilight Highlands, which is the actual leveling area. Now, Twilight Highlands, it, there's not really much to say here. It's absolutely straightforward. It, it branches out like once, but it's not really that big of a difference, so you're not really going to miss anything. Otherwise, you just want to quest here until 85. My suggestion is if you can get a group, there's an arena quest right in the middle called Crucible of Carnage, and it's an arena quest where you kill one mob and you get a a hundred thousand plus experience. You need five people to do it, but if you can get five people quickly, it is definitely worth doing. You can get the quest immediately at 84. You don't have to do anything. Once you arrive in Highlands, if you can find a group for Crucible Carnage, that's pretty good. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. The Horde quests are slightly harder than the Lions quests. So if you're Lions, you'll level probably much quicker than the Horde. But otherwise, that's pretty much it for this leveling guide. If you guys have any specific questions in any quest, I can probably answer all of them. So any questions not answered here, leave them in the comment section below, as I can definitely help you out with any of your leveling concerns. Also, another note, as far as PvP leveling, PvP leveling is horrible. Now, except for your first two BGs, every time you win a BG, you lose the amount of experience you would get. So I'm just going to give a quick example. At 84, I did an Atzvac Valley, that was my first BG of the day. When we won, we got 300,000 experience. Alright, that's pretty good for, you know, 20 minutes of Atzvac Valley. But then after winning the second BG, I got only about 240k, and then so on and so on, eventually it diminished to where it's almost pointless. So try to avoid doing BGs unless it's your first two of the day. After the day is over, the experience resets, and then you can do your first two again. But otherwise, leveling through PvP is not a good way to do things. Otherwise, that's pretty much it for this video. Please subscribe for more WoW videos, as I like to do guides, DPS guides, and all that good stuff. Thumbs up the video if this helped you. And remember, any of your questions, specific leveling questions, leave them below. And I'll see you guys next time.